Hey everyone, welcome back to Stan's Advice. Um, I'm actually gonna, I'm doing the intro from outside today. Uh, I thought I'll do a vlog style video today for you guys. I'm actually gonna be walking in my, um, uh, uh, start off the day with walking in my uh, subdivision. Uh, and then we're gonna start the day off. I've got some things to do. I've got to run some errands. Um, I also have to go get my eyebrows done. I don't know if you can tell my eyebrows and upper lip. Um, and I got some work to get done, so I'm gonna take you along with me. Um, already, so I'll see you in the next clip, um, uh, uh, when I get back home. Bye, guys. Okay, so I just got back from, uh, walking, uh, from outside. I don't know if you can tell, right here, I'm sweating, right here. Um, I am going to actually hop in the shower and then, um, afterwards I will become, I will be, uh, cooking some lunch. I was thinking about doing a tortilla pizza. I will show you the process, um, as much as I can, um, cook for me and my mom two tortilla pizzas. So, um, I'll do that. Basically, it just has wheat tortillas, mozzarella cheese, and whatever kind of toppings you like. Since we're vegetarian, um, my mom doesn't like the... Sorry, I was just swiping off my sweat. My mom does not like the, um, vegan sausages, um, which I made this morning as well. Um, breakfast sausages. So what I was thinking was probably making one and then cutting it up and putting it on top of my pizza with some olives and maybe for her some olives and, um... She really likes the jalapeno peppers or like just the chili that we put in our Indian uh, cooking. So maybe make that. Um, and then basically what you do is preheat the oven for about, I think it's almost 325 degrees. Um, and then once it's done, pop it in for maybe 10 minutes. Just see how it is. If it's, if you see that the tortilla is crusting too brown, um, then don't do that. Then don't put it in for 10 minutes, but just uh, make sure your tortillas are um, melted. So, or the cheese is melted on the tortillas. So um, I will catch you guys when I make lunch. Hey guys, sorry, I'm gonna lower the volume. Um, so I'm sorry, I've actually forgot to fill in my lunch. Um, I will insert a clip of what I ate. Um, I, I took a part of it, um, like of the pizza, um, but I did have the tortilla pizza. Um, it was mozzarella cheese, pizza sauce, which I forgot to mention. I put olives and tomatoes on mine. I didn't take a picture of my mom's because she was really hungry, but hers was literally everything except for um, she added jalapenos on hers. Um, I'm actually in the car. I'm actually headed over to get my eyebrows done. Um, and then um, after that, I'll come home. I actually bought some stuff from Amazon um, a couple days ago, so I'm gonna actually do an unboxing of that when I get home later on today and I'll show it to you um it is called excuse me it is called sorry excuse me it is called um mama earth's um hair oil um they have uh, they have hair um a shampoo conditioner and oil so it's onion shampoo conditioner and oil and it's supposed to help for dandruff and hair loss um I am I was doing well I still am I'm gonna try this and see I was doing I was doing the um sorry I'm just moving around I was doing the uh uh olive uh, not olive oil baby johnson and tea tree oil one of my friends one of my really good friends actually um told me about that and she said it really helps for um dandruff and um um uh and um oh god I can't even talk dandruff and um uh uh hair loss but I thought maybe I'll do this one because it's um, maybe something a little different. I've heard some good things about this um, product. And the, actually, it's the India-based product. I will link the description. I will link it in the description below. Um, in the description box, I'll, I'll link the website. And you guys can check it out. Um, they don't... I had to buy it off Amazon because they deliver um, from Amazon. If you're in India, you can always buy it online. And I'm pretty sure the India folks probably already know about this. Um, but I will link the... Um, link the website in the description below so let's go ahead and get to the um to the eyebrow to get my eyebrows done it takes about 15 to 20 minutes depending on traffic to get there and I also want to mention when I went walking today um I did I did 35 minutes and about two and a half miles and I forgot to I forgot to mention that in my previous uh clip and um yeah so let's go ahead and um sorry in my yeah in my previous clip but I wanted to go ahead and 
um, head over there because it's almost 2 o'clock and my appointment's at 2.30. Uh, so I thought maybe we can um, I'll go over there and I'll try to show you a little bit of uh, what I get done. I just, I don't know how well they would be with me um, uh, filming anything. So if I don't, I'll definitely take a picture of my before and after and then uh, we can go from there. Um, but I will definitely, um, I'm going to, I'll definitely see you in my next clip either when I'm at, when I get into the, um, at the, um, at my eyebrow appointment or maybe afterwards or maybe when I get home. So, um, I'll see you in my next clip. Alrighty. So actually, I know I was said I was going to, um, uh, record after I got back from the, um, after I got back from the to get my eyebrows done but I actually forgot to do that because I got busy with some other stuff some phone calls I came through and whatnot so I'm gonna actually get into an unboxing I bought some stuff from Amazon um, like I said in my previous clips uh, previous clip I was gonna do an unboxing I bought a um, like an oil a conditioner and a shampoo from Mama Earth Mama Earth and it is a um, India brand um, I've heard a lot of good things I have been doing and helps actually so that actually helps with um sorry there's a dog outside and i think he just saw another dog so they're barking um i actually saw a um sorry uh, uh actually onion the onions um the onion actually helps it's onion um shampoo and conditioner and oil and actually onion helps with hair loss and dandruff is what i read online um even on the packaging it says that um and here it is i'm gonna actually this there are the packages. I have, um, this one probably has the conditioner and the shampoo maybe, and then the oil is probably in this one. And, um, yeah, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and unpack it, um, and maybe I'll do a little review, um, read, sorry, let me just adjust you guys, read you guys a little bit of what it is, um, but I heard it's really good, so let's actually get into it. I actually need to, um, um actually open it, so I'm gonna actually drag you down again, so. Um, here we go. We are gonna unopen this, or unopen, I mean, we are gonna open this. Um, and I'm, I'm an amateur vlogger, so, um, sorry about that. I'm trying to learn how to do this. I did actually, like I said, I have only a small little, um, uh, tripod, um, which I need to actually probably buy a bigger one so you can hear, watch a little bit more of this unboxing. Um, so here it is. Um, here's the first box. These little, little, um, stuff that we don't need um so i actually i'm gonna actually bring you back this way um so this one is actually the onion shampoo if you can see um it actually helps with uh let's see so it actually where is it at oh yeah it is no where is it at um yeah so it's actually it helps it helps for harmful um chemicals um free from harmful chemicals and you can actually use it for um, colored hair um, and this actually helps with uh, let's see where can I find it um, uh, I did yeah here we go so it actually um, uh, let's see it, it actually so the conditioner is to help reduce hair fall get strong and uh, soft and smooth hair but online it also says it does that it does um, um, it helps for dandruff so if you have like gray little gray hairs that's what I have I have little gray hairs that are like somewhat like dandruff so that actually helps with that um this one actually is the hair oil so I think I said that I thought it would have the shampoo in it but I guess I was wrong but this one is a hair oil and I'm actually gonna open this up for you uh, and see how it looks so it gives you a little cap I think where you can um, um comb it through the hair um and then let's and this is the oil box, um, the oil bottle, sorry. And so this also helps for, um, let me see, direction. So you can apply this uh, either uh, the night before. Um, here's a, here's a better. Um, apply it the night before, or you can apply it and leave it in overnight, or you can apply it a few hours ahead. It doesn't matter which way. Um, and then you can, right after that, you use a shampoo, which I'm gonna show you here in a minute. Um, and this also helps for, let's see, um, hang on one second. So this also is the same thing. It helps just to reduce hair fall, uh, get your hair strong. And it also is helpful for dandruff because I, 
I actually um, have a lot of dandruff, so I know that for a fact. Here is the other one. Um, this is the other, um, the other um, package, and I think this one has the um, shampoo in it. Sorry, I'm just. Trying to, I hope it does. Is what I'm thinking, because um, that's how I bought it. Um, and I'm gonna link this in the description below so you guys can go check it out. Yeah. Oh, conditioner. I have, oh no, sorry. This is the. The first one was the shampoo, and then this is the conditioner. Sorry about that. Um, this one is the shampoo um, that I opened up earlier, right here. Um, and then this is the conditioner. Sorry about that. I got confused. Um, so, anyways, this one also um, is the same thing as the conditioner, or uh, as the shampoo. Uh, it helps to, let's see, it helps to reduce hair fall in, um, uh, uh, and let's see, and um, get strong hair and it's soft and smooth. So, and I think if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, it will help to reduce the fizziness of everything. Um, also, I can read off some of the stuff. So, the key ingredients are aqua. Um, uh, you know what? I can't spell. I can't say this word. Um, centurial alcohol. Uh, let's see. Um, coconut oil, sweet almond oil, onion. Uh, onion seed oil, um, it's got chlor chloride, uh, potassium, but it's also free of um, uh, parabens, so it won't you won't lose your hair. So the sulfates and parabens apparently they help with not hair loss, but there's I get a lot of them that I do have. Um, I do have. Sorry, my nose is itchy. I do have. Uh, um, what you call? I do have. Um, shampoos that have uh, free of paraben and sulfates but sometimes they don't work so maybe this will work a little bit better um and i'm gonna actually uh let's see i'm hopefully it will work a little bit better because i'm hoping that it will help with my hair loss and my dandruff so i'm actually going to show it to you right now so here it is it's the conditioners right here shampoo and hair oil and you can use this you can replace this for that you have to take off the cap for that and i think it just kind of goes through your hair um it will it goes through your hair like you just kind of comb it through your hair so it will help to sorry it will help to um sorry about that it will help to kind of oh wait sorry it will help to kind of get through um everything on your hair um, it will help to get the hair in there, or get the whole oil in the ha hair. I'm trying to smell it. It actually smells pretty good. It has a little coconut oil. I can tell the coconut oil, so... Um, but yeah, I mean, it is pretty cool. It's very neat to use. I'm actually just putting this on here, so if you can tell, that's how it goes, I think. If I'm doing this wrong, hopefully I'm not. Um, but that's how it is. Uh, so yeah, um... But anyways, uh, yeah, I think that's how it is. So anyways, but um, yeah, so I will link all this in the description below for you guys. So if you need to check it out, um, it's like I said, you can go to the online website, see what you need. Um, they do have a search bar you can put in dandruff or hair loss or however you want to, whatever you want to put in. And it will help you um, put in stuff. Um, it, it will help you bring it up. Now, if you're in the States, um, as far as states, I mean, like, U.S. or Canada, you probably have to go through Amazon. I don't think Canada has one. Um, if you, if, if U.S. doesn't have it, Canada definitely won't have it, um, is what I'm thinking. Um, sorry, I'm just going to move here a little bit. And so I would definitely go ahead and try, check it out, give it a try. If And I'll definitely, what I'm going to do is actually I might um, end up putting some in, ton um, maybe tonight or, yeah, tonight, so I can leave it in the hair, leave it overnight, and then wash my hair tomorrow, or I might do it first thing in the morning and then wash my hair later throughout the day, um, and I'll give you guys a review, I'll, I'll try it for a week and see how it goes, if it worked well, then great, if not, then I won't, I'll let you guys know, um, but I've heard really good things that, sorry, I've seen other YouTubers use it, um, and so maybe it might help other Indian YouTubers, as, as far as I know, um, and I've seen them use it, so it will, it does say, um, for hair growth control, um, hair fall control, sorry, hair, let's see, can I get a focus, to hair, hair, uh, for, for, for hair fall control, so it does help for that, so maybe, can, maybe, I'm pretty sure it will help for, 
uh, dandruff as well. So I'm, that's what I'm assuming. I don't know. Um, we'll give it, a, like I said, I'll give it a try and see how it goes and let you guys know. Um, but anyways, but I wanted to actually go back to, like I said, I was going to vlog when I got back from my eyebrows. And I did get my eyebrows done. I don't know if you can tell right here it needs to be cleaned up here and here and here so i did ooh, i did get that done um and i you'll probably see it in the thumbnail as well i do do i do do a before and after um but funny story i was actually going into um i was actually driving over when you guys saw me in the car i was driving over to uh get my eyebrows done and my the lady that does my eyebrows she's really really sweet um and I love her. I stopped going to her for a year um, because it just was a bit too far. But then the lady that I was going to between that year, um, she wasn't doing the best job. She wasn't, it wasn't, it, I do, so the way I do my eyebrows and I've, I've been doing this for years, I have them wax it and then thread them. Um, and the lady that I was going to previously, I mean, before I went back to my, my lady now, um, I say auntie, so the last auntie I went to, she, um, before I went back to this auntie, she didn't, she wasn't doing it properly, like, she would take off, like, my eyelashes because she was such in a rush. Um, and the auntie I go to now, she does a really great job. She is patient with me, even if she has clients waiting for her, she's really patient with me. So, um, if you guys want to know who it is, if you're in the Georgia area, um, Atlanta, Georgia area, just DM me on Instagram and I'll give you her information. Um, if you really, you know, want to get it done, she's really, I mean, she's not, she's really cheap. She's, she charges $13 for eyebrows and upper lip and it's all waxing and threading both together. So she doesn't charge like $5 for waxing, $5 for, for threading, nothing like that. It's all $13 put together. So, um, she's really good. I mean, I've gone to places where, they charge $35 for your eyebrows and an extra $10. So, uh, no, I think it's $35 for your eyebrows and upper lip, and that is, it's way too expensive. Um, so they're a little bit, the, the Indian folks are a little, a little bit more cheaper that way, but it's worth it. Um, but I'll definitely, but if you guys want to know, just DM me on Instagram, Snaz Advice, and I'll, um, and if you guys are um, following me, you can always DM me, and I'll definitely let you know. Um, but she's really great. But I'm gonna, um, so today, I mean, I kind of went through my day a little bit with you guys. I'm, it's about almost 5.30 here right now, um, 5.30 in the evening. And I will, um, I will try to, I will ha be having dinner next around 6.30 or 7. I had lunch a little late, so I might have dinner a little late. Um, I had a snack in between. I had a tangerine and a cheese string, so or cheese stick, and then I had a bit more, um, I was feeling a little hungry after my eyebrows, and I actually ended up, sorry, my eyes itching, I actually ended up, um, getting, I actually ended up eating some moruku, which is like a, I don't know how to explain it, it's a, um, it's a snack, Indian snack, and I'll write the description, and I'll try to insert a picture as well, um, but, sorry, that was my ice maker, so, uh, but yeah, so I will try to, I'm gonna, I'll see you in the next clip when I, um, I'll try to see in the next clip when I make dinner, um, and it, yeah, so, um, it might be a quick, easy dinner today, I was thinking, like, some corn and vegan co uh, corn dogs is what I was thinking, so it's kind of, like, gives me my fiber, carbs, and protein, so, um, we'll see how that goes, and then I will see you, yeah, I'll see you then. Sorry, sorry I just want to pop back on. I know, um, I remembered I was supposed to tell you a funny story about the lady, um, that does my eyebrows, and when I was heading over to the, um, uh, to the, to my eyebrow lady, uh, my auntie, and so she had, she called me, like I said, um, and she asked me if I was just leaving the house. My appointment was for 2.30, and I left the house at 2 because I didn't know if there would be traffic or not going up there. So I left the house, and I and she called me right when I was literally on the freeway. And she's like, well, would you be able to come at 5.30 instead of 2.30? 2, and I'm like, I'm already on the freeway. Um, is there any way that you can still take me? She's like, no, no, that's fine. Come on in, um, and I'll take you. Uh, we've had communication issues before but she's really sweet um and so i just i forgot i i was going through i, I was uh, i hopped back on because i'm like oh my god i forgot to tell them what happened but um the communicate you know there's 
we always have communication issues in general. And so I was telling her and she's like, well, why don't we go ahead and, um, sorry, why don't we go ahead and, you know, you just come on in and I'll take you. Don't worry. And I was like, well, I'll be there. I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be more than five or 10 minutes away because I was already on the freeway going over there. And so it's like a 15 minute drive. So I was already on the freeway and I'm like, okay, well, I'll just get there early because if that, you know, just in case something happens, if I'm on the freeway or if I get stuck in traffic. And so I hopped on the, you know, and she's like, okay, that's fine. Just come on over and we'll, I'll get you, um, I'll, um, I'll get you put in and we'll, we'll get you, um, uh, get your eyebrows and upper lips done. So that was kind of a funny story. Um, bef there was, uh, an incident that happened before I started YouTube and, um, making videos. Um, an incident had happened where I was on the way going over there and she had, um, we had already texted and she, I told her I was coming at 3.30 and she's like, yeah, come on over. I texted her the night, uh, about the night before and I said, yeah, I'm going to be over there at 3.30 and she's like, yeah, that's perfect. Come on over. I got there at 3.30 and she already had somebody, uh, she was already doing somebody's facial and so that was going to take a while and I said, and I, she, uh, they said, well, do you want to go? Because there's a grocery store right there and she's like, well, do you want to go get some groceries? I said, no, that's okay. Um, and she's like, well, it's going to take another two hours if you want to wait or come back. I said, no, 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 I'll just, um, I'll text her and come back, you know, I'll text you and I'll, we can make another, another appointment. And that wasn't an issue. I'm pretty flexible, but flexible about these things. I don't really like, you know, saying no to anybody or being unflexible, you know, but that's what I want to hop on here real quick and just kind of tell you, I know you probably just saw me like not two seconds ago, but I just want to hop on here real quick. Um, and I actually was getting some work done. I have to um, do some, um, vol I was doing my volunteer stuff, so I thought maybe I'll show you guys what I do. So I'm basically, um, on some of these events, um, some of the event planning, I actually do, um, I'm like the POC, which is point of contact. So I do minutes and I take the agenda, or I do the agenda, I take the minutes, and last night we had a meeting, and I got most of the minutes um, put together, but I was just kind of going over it just to make sure that I'm not missing anything um, and actually I will show you uh, what I'm doing um, just kind of quickly tell you I'm not gonna show you names well I kind of hit the names but I'll just show you what I kind of do throughout the day um, I mean other than work purposes but also what I do for my volunteer stuff so I actually take minutes so it's something like this I don't know if you guys can tell so we kind of just say agenda um, agenda discussed these are the items um, and it's usually more so that's why I needed to go through uh, sorry needed to go through and just make sure that I've gotten everything down I got in the most of it down um, so we'll see you know um, yeah so that's kind of what I do I just kind of get the agenda ready so I'll get the agenda ready for um, Sorry, I'll get the agenda ready for our next meeting, which is Tuesday, um, here in a little bit. I might try to do today or tomorrow and kind of go from there. I also have to do minutes for, I have another meeting tomorrow. So we do have meetings on the weekends. Um, I have another meeting tomorrow, which I'll do the minutes for that. Um, and then I have another meeting Monday, another meeting Tuesday. Um, I have Wednesday off and then Thursday is my dad's birthday. He's actually flying in from California. He's vaccinated. Um, I'll see if, he, I mean, he doesn't know I'm doing YouTube, so I might not vlog when I'm with him. Um, but I might actually have you guys, I might actually do a sit down video for you guys before I go, before I go meet him. So you'll have something to watch, um, you know, whatnot. But anyways, but, um, yeah, so Thursday I have another meeting, Friday meeting, Saturday. It's just, I get one day off out of the week, um, to get anything done. So, but anyways, it's almost five minutes up, but I just want to kind of hop on by you real quick and just kind of tell you that little story. I'll see you guys in my next clip. Bye guys. guys. So I'm just actually picking up the vlog again. Um, I was going to show you what I'm eating for, uh, dinner. Um, like I said, I was going to make corn and veggie corn dogs. Um, so I'm actually going to show that to you right now. So it is corn and that's a little ma margarine or butter, um, corn dog, veggie corn dogs, water, and I'm still watching Big Bang Theory. Um, I'm actually going to, um, I was just going to want, I wanted to show you guys what I'm eating for dinner. Kind of do a f day in the life, a full vlog, which actually today was actually perfect because I actually did the full vlog. Um, I, 
Um, my mom is actually up, uh, upstairs in her bedroom. She's actually doing some other things, and I was, I would have asked her, um, yeah, she's upstairs in her bedroom doing some other stuff. Uh, but that's what I want to show you, and I will catch you in my next clip. I'm going to actually uh, talk to you a little bit um, about some things that's just going on on my mind. Um, and I will catch you then. Okay, see you guys. Hey everyone, I just wanted to hop on here and actually just do my outro. I was actually, in my last clip, I was going to try to talk about some things that were on my mind. But you know what, I'll um, maybe talk about that in another video. I just wanted to kind of hop on here and do my outro. Um, so thanks for watching this vlog with me and spending the day with me. Hopefully you guys all like this kind of video. And I will... Um, yeah, um, hopefully you guys will like this kind of video. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe to help the channel grow. I would really appreciate it. Um, and I will catch you in my next vlog. I will try to do two vlogs next week and then do a sit-down video next week for you guys. So maybe you guys will like that. It will just kind of be like a good mixture of change. Um, so yeah, but um, I will catch you guys in my next vlog. See you guys. Bye.